Here's a Wikipedia article I bet most of you never knew existed. The original interstate system has been complete for quite some time now, but that doesn't mean the government's done building freeways yet. In fact, there are more than a few interstates that are planned to come in the next few decades. Going down the list, we'll start with the future interstates that have been completely approved by Congress. We begin with Interstate 3. The interesting thing about I-3 is that it would be out of order in the numbering of the system, just like its brother I-99. The planned route for I-3 involves running from Savannah, Georgia to Knoxville, Tennessee. Most of the route north of Augusta isn't finalized, there aren't many portions of a pre-existing freeway that could be adopted for I-3, and a vast section of the route runs for the Appalachians, so it'll be interesting to see what the exact route for this one looks like, and I don't anticipate it getting done anytime soon. Next up we have Interstate 7, or Interstate 9? Yeah, the numbering on this one hasn't been decided on yet. However, I'll refer to it as I-7 since I don't see much room for another interstate between the planned route of this one and Interstate 5. The planned route of I-7 would follow most of existing California 99. Currently, 99 breaks off from I-5 near Wheeler Ridge, continues north through the cities of Bakersfield, Fresno, Modesto, and Stockton, and then shifts over onto State Route 4 through downtown Stockton, ending at I-5 again. This route seems to be mostly ready to go for interstate conversion as the road itself is up to interstate standards. I'm also surprised that there isn't an interstate here yet as it travels through a lot of cities that I would have thought were connected to the system already. An alternate proposal of I-7 involves stretching the route along 99 even further up to Sacramento, where it would turn west onto US-50 and end yet again at I-5 in downtown. Next up, we return to North Carolina, home of the unfinished interstates. Here we see another planned interstate, I-42, which is said to run from Moorhead City to Garner, all in North Carolina. The route will largely follow existing US Route 70 all the way out to Garner, where the interstate will end at I-40. There are several bypasses that were ready to be signed as I-42, as they are up to interstate standards, but this was delayed mainly due to the fact that NC DOT forgot about State Route 42 nearby, so they need to re-sign that route before I-42 can be signed. Next up, we have Future Interstate 92. Now unlike its brothers, 92 doesn't have an officially approved route, it's more of just an idea. Several advocates for 92 propose that the highway run through some variation of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, which all currently lack a proper east-to-west interstate. There's not much else to say about this one, as nothing's been confirmed yet. Finally, I'll be talking about an interstate that does technically exist already, but is in the process of being extended. I present to you, Interstate 57. I'll bet most of you thought I was about to talk about I-72. I-57, which I've already done a video on, currently runs from Chicago to Sykeston, Missouri. It's been this way for many years, but recently Missouri and Arkansas have been working to extend the highway all the way south to Little Rock. Currently, I-57 ends at a cloverleaf with I-55 outside of Sykeston. From here, the proposed route would follow US-60 west through Dexter to Poplar Bluff, where 57 turns south and joins with US-67, dropping 60 in the process. From this point, 57 parallels 67 into Arkansas, where the route kind of falls apart for a bit. The route of I-57 between Harvey L. Missouri and Walnut Ridge, Arkansas hasn't been built yet, so this is the main reason 57 isn't signed and ready to go. Next, we pick up US-67 outside of Walnut Ridge, where 67, and eventually 167, continue south as a freeway, built to interstate standards with exit numbering all the way south to Little Rock, where the route will end at I-40. It should be fun to watch as the interstate system continues to expand, as some of these areas definitely need interstates. And who knows, maybe one day Alaska will get proper interstates?